I'd say that my work is designed to be a moment of pause in the city. It's poetry in place of advertising billboards. Um, it turns the advertising billboard off effectively. All the posters are black with white lettering. So first of all, they turn the advertising off psychologically and then they say hopefully quite simple, reasonable things. Um, what, when I write them, I try to write about this sounds pretentious, but a report from the collective unconscious mind, right? So our collective unconscious. So the emotional life we share living in this kind of society and the way it makes us feel on the inside and bring that out onto the streets on the billboards. Simply that really, just 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 to, just to bring that out is, is what I'm going to do. I mean, for me, the moral figure of capitalism, as it's put um, by the gallery, what I mean by that is, let's say, um, that's obviously a collective error. I think that myself and a lot of other people, let's say, left-leaning intellectuals have thought that for a long time. I think the recent events in global finance prove that, that capitalism in its current form not only has a moral failure, but it has a technical failure too. That's even worse in a sense. Arguably, the kind of capitalism we have is an extreme version, which is a continuation of Reaganomics. And arguably, Ronald Reagan has a very limited view on capitalism, simply that by having a, a rich investment banking class a rich entrepreneurial class, as Thatcher would put it, you have trickle-down wealth that reaches the middle class and reaches the working class through a trickle-down effect. Clearly, America and Britain and Western Europe has been able to afford better education and health care for everyone than it has been prepared to pay for for the last 30 years, and we're probably now feeling the effects of that. I certainly think that there's probably in the in the 20th century avant-garde. There's the, the as well as the Duchampian tradition, where where art is ultimately a series of complex intellectual jokes. Um, there's the Boysian tradition, where boys feels contemporary art making should be engaged with questions of society, politics, spirituality. I mean, Joseph Boys, as well as making this very kind of poetic installation work also as one of the founder members of the Green Party in 1970 in Berlin, so, I mean, in Germany. So, I mean, the guy founds the Green Party in Germany as well as being, you know, a Ponzi artist like the rest of us. That's incredible to me. And I, and I think that the artists of my immediate generation, the artists of my immediate crowd feel that Boisian tradition is more where we sit than necessarily the Champion tradition. I think people in the street are much smarter than probably vast parts of the media gives them credit for and much more engaged. The experience of putting the work up in the streets, we get a real cross-section of people come up and really engage with it. Um, you know, I think ordinary people in Britain are much more open, much more intellectually engaged and much more open to contemporary art than the Daily Mail would have you think, for sure. <laughs>